Our next guest taking a look and making a case to pivot away from the behemoth, the winner of NVIDIA, to one of the competitors on Semi. So Tony Zaparo is with us, CEO of Equity Set. Tony, tell us more. I mean, are you saying sell NVIDIA? Um, it's a great question. Uh, and honestly, I, I think we are at this point in time. Um, it, NVIDIA's had a fantastic run, right, year to date. It's up almost 230%. Um, which may seem shocking, but of course the revenue and profit numbers are just as shocking up 205% and 12 fold in profitability. Um, but we're seeing some signals uh, over the last couple of weeks that in our proprietary alignment models that uh, help to kind of measure different aspects of a company that we don't like. Um, and so that's where in terms of price action, valuation, uh, and some of the operational tendencies of OnSemi versus NVIDIA, we are definitely saying that we think on is going to fare better in a value-centric environment going forward where investors are shifting away, shifting away from growth stocks. And so at this point, what is it about on semi? Because there's so many names in the semiconductor space. This one you say has a really good risk reward. What is it about on semi that stands out to you as the one that makes it your choice? Yeah, definitely. And so on price action, uh, if we look at that, what we're not liking a lot about NVIDIA is the, the gaps below, right? It, it made one a couple weeks ago, and then it's got another one down at 300 uh, from earlier in the year. Again, based on great earnings uh, popped up there um, versus on has the exact opposite uh, based on its latest earnings because they weren't as impressive as investors wanted. Uh, it actually got down. So technically speaking, uh, on's been a little bit beaten up. Uh, it's taken a hit then on PE, price to book, uh, values, everything like that. And that kind of shifts us to then our valuation argument where um, if we look at the trend of how on and NVIDIA have kind of played together, we see a lot of stretch in the valuations. Hard to believe, but three years ago, they were both at a 70 handle in PE. Obviously, NVIDIA's had pretty explosive growth since then. Um, but what we see on doing is they're playing defense even in a growing semi-market. And so they're doing a better job of cutting costs, trying to maintain profitability, uh, and warning right against slowdowns uh, in that. And what we like about On versus uh, NVIDIA is the fact that 95% of NVIDIA's run-up happened from Jan J uh, January to July. Um, it might seem, right, it's basically done nothing since then, and that's after two phenomenal earnings uh, reports. And so even with analysts projecting another almost 200% growth in 2024 and 60% growth in 2025, I think the writing's on the wall in terms of investors are shifting their mindset. They're going to multiple compression on NVIDIA. And in an uncertain environment going forward, we want to put our chips in something that's a little bit more value oriented. And that's where on at a 14 times PE, uh, just really we th feel has gotten beat up a little too much. Yeah, understood. And as you talk about some of the trends going into 2024, I'm sure, you know, on semi, you, you made, you sort of bit the bullet, you picked the name that you were going to go with today um, as the one that is the winner going forward with the best risk reward picture. But as you look at 2024, tell me more about some of the themes um, when it comes to tech, when it comes to semiconductors or AI. Are there other names too that were sort of close in your list? Number two, three, four, five. You know, what are some themes and maybe other names that you also like? Yeah, definitely. And so in the, the semi space, we like it as a bucket. Uh, we think kind of it's going to be a wash. There's going to be some major outperformers um, and those are going to buoy the, the ones that honestly aren't doing so well, right? So when we look at numbers across the sector or the industry, what we're seeing is 50% of the semi companies are, are currently losing money, right? The 30% have uh, sales declines of 20 or 30 percent or more. Um, and so it's really a mixed bag because if you juxtapose that to what NVIDIA has uh, been touting and reporting, um, it's just night and day. And so if we're looking at other names, right, where we're leaning towards in an uncertain environment, uh, value over growth. And so Broadcom, Texas Instruments, Microchip Tech, Taiwan Semi, we all think those could be relative outperformers while investors shift from riskier assets that again might go up 20 or 30 percent but they also might go down 40 or 50 to ones that have focused on steady growth and stability in earnings. 
And overall, I mean, do you think the rate environment moves these stocks a lot or a little, or that matters less to you? I think there's definitely going to be some bleed through from uh, tighter macro conditions and rates. Um, but I think the majority of the move is going to come from the fact of it, investors shifting their sentiment. I think it's going to be from them taking their money out of these riskier assets, not knowing what to expect, or in NVIDIA's case, knowing what to expect and still not willing to maybe pay up for it. Um, and so I think the price will fall mainly because of optics, not necessarily because of what the rate implications will be to these companies. A lot of times people like the management story. Um, you know, Jensen Wong, for example, is, I mean, people are naming their kid Jensen now, right, because of NVIDIA's win and strength and leadership. I mean, Elon Musk would be an example, you know, um, you know, Tim Cook, et cetera, Jamie Dimon. So you have leaders in spaces and people bet on managements. Are there certain people or folks in certain management positions, whether it's at On Semi or anywhere else, that jump out at you as you like like what you're seeing when it comes to management. Yeah, and look, I love NVIDIA uh, as a company. I love the management team. I love absolutely what they're doing uh, financially, right, fundamentally. I just can't get on the bandwagon yet until see some kind of compression of, of multiples, price come down, uh, because I think it's, again, mainly going to be uh, optics that are affecting it and a little bit of a trader's market. And so um, I absolutely love the NVIDIA story. I love what they're doing. Um, but what I do like as well is ONS management, even on this latest earnings call, they're focusing on the defensive. You can hear, and if you kind of play uh, each call next to each other, NVIDIA's growth, 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 right? And, and that's because that's what they're doing. Um, but ON is, despite their growth in revenue, their growth in profitability, their improvement in margins, they're talking about it as they need to protect it at all costs. And so that's where, um, again, financially, I think NVIDIA is gonna well outperform ON, but price-wise, that's where I think the on-management board uh, is going to help make sure that if there is a downturn, if there's flat, profitability stays high, and it's probably going to look to outperform uh, and go up in multiples. Yeah. Tony Zippero, thank you so much. CEO at Equity Set. Thank you for being here. Yeah.